Mm. 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 Oh my, yes, baby. Yes. When we dated, we had some issues surrounding other people. And I think for a while I was wondering if I'll be able to get over things. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no clickbait. Hey guys, hey guys, it's Steph and Sasha and we are back with another video. Before we get into the video, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs this video up, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, welcome to the family. Thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. Baby's gonna tell you what we're doing today. So today, you guys, we are doing a king crab mukbang. And we're trying a new sauce today, so shout out to Flavors by, by Dame Dash. All right, so we'll get into our sauces here once we get into the video. You ready? Yes. All right, then let's get into the video all right so we're back you guys so what we have today we have king crab legs spicy ramen two different kinds we'll talk about that later we have corn and shrimp and then we also have four sauces here we only have one new sauce though so we'll talk about that later also and that's about it i have some tortillas here you guys because you know i gotta do something different with my with my crab at some point so i'm i'm gonna be making some tacos a little a little later Okay. All right. So, ooh, let's try sauce first. Let's, we only have one new sauce. So we yeah. this week are doing flavors by Dame Dash. Mhm. Mm okay. So that's gonna be this sauce, you guys. Okay. So this one is flavors by Dame Dash sauce. He calls it Dippin' Dash, though. Okay. Dip and I dash. like his uh, name. Yeah. So what's in that is butter, um, onion, garlic red hot sweet chili sauce okay you guys so that that's that was the clincher for me i was like i gotta try this because it's I, I don't think we have ever tried anything with something like that in it. lemon red pepper cayenne tony's creole seasoning pepper and garlic powder okay all right shit yeah i was ready along like, Gosh, ain't gonna let me tell y'all what's in it Ooh, it's like hot what can't really get to it you know that's why i hate making the sauces early Cause that's what happens. It okay. just starts turns into a clumped up mess. Mmm. Woo! Like it? Yeah. It like almost turned into like candy. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That. You know what? He was right. He said you gotta make sure you um Ooh. grill them um onions first. Cause it. Dang boy. Mmm. That's okay. awesome. It's really bomb. Like, the flavor of it is amazing. Mm -mm. You playing now. Mm -hmm. You playing with me. That's really good. Yeah. I'm gonna have to eat some more of that. Mm. Whew. It done clumped up, y'all, but get the clumps, because that stuff is good. It really is. Mm -mm. I uh, mm -hmm. hold on, <laughs> mm -hmm. hold on. That is good. Mm. Good job, Dame, on this sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Boy, I can't lie. I was very skeptical on this one. Mm -hmm. Because that sweet chili sauce is the sauce we use for like egg rolls, you guys. If you guys know how that tastes. So I was like, what? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh, I don't even know what to say. That's bomb. I love it. It is so good. I love it. I love it. Wow. I love it. Sheesh. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So then we have. My sauce, I changed my sauce a lot, guys, so it probably looks different. I put a lot less seasoning in it because I don't want to be taking in that much sodium. So it's a lot less seasoning. Whew. Tastes different, but. Dang. So good. <laughs> I don't even want my sauce right now. I want <laughs> that. That sauce is so good. Mm. Okay. 
So that's mm. the only new sauce we're trying. Tasha did do some adjustments to her sauce, so that, that's kind of new. And then we have, I brought Percy Peas back, y'all, because it was so good last time we had it. Mm. And y'all know, if I really love a sauce, y'all gonna see it again. So mm. I brought Percy back, garlic tang. If you wanna know what's in this, you need to go look at our last video, because we talked about it all in that video. Mm. Where's my chopstick? Back? So good. Ooh, this is so good. I'll forever love this sauce. It's Percy. Let mm -hmm. me try it again. So good. Those little flavorful clumps. It's just, it's just like dames in the respect of those clumps. Yeah. Those flavorful clumps. It's the same type. It don't taste nothing like dames though. But the, that stuff in the bottom. Oh. Right. Let me try it. Prissy. Again. But I'm going to make well, sure maybe. I get What? Nothing? You're just getting a lot you of clumps. You with this? Yeah. Right. Your clump look like a whole spoonful of greens. Mm. 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 Garlic time. Tell y'all. Mm -mm. Y'all. Let's get these legs open. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> I want to um get my perfect cup. King crab. Let's get this open. Let's get this whole piece of crab nice and long. Let's get it. Y'all have any sauces y'all want to try? Put them in the comments, y'all. We still trying sauces. We prefer to try stuff that is very different than what we've already tried, you guys, because yeah. And I'm gonna tell y'all something right. real quick so we can just get all the confusion out. I don't want ketchup oh, yeah. in any of my sauces. And it's not that I don't like it with um, the sea. I don't like it with the steamed seafood. I like it with fried. Yeah, me too. So all of the little mayo and ketchup stuff, we won't do those until we um, do fried. Yeah. Because we do not like it with like crab legs. Yeah. So yeah. So let's We've get already this. tried it. <laughs> let's get this. Let's get it. You ready? Yeah, put Which one you going for? Dang. Nah, I want the shrimp with dames. Oh, okay. Is that about my citrus? What am I doing? I'm over here messing all of it. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my. Yes, baby. Yes. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. Mmm. Mine tastes a little different because of the seasoning adjustment, but I like it. Oh, oh, oh. Give me some ramen. Let's see. Y'all putting y'all putting these. I'm not trying to make my own sauce. Y'all doing a good job here. Y'all already know I don't know how to use mm. chopsticks. Mm. I need a little, I think I got a little bowl. Mm. Oh my God. Mm, this is so good. You guys, this ramen is a hot samyang and the gin ramen mixed up. So it's not too hot. We're going to put a link down in the, where? In the description for both, um, both ramens that we use in this combo and where we get them from. Yeah. Because usually when we do ramen, there's a lot of people that are like, where do you get your ramen from? Mm -hmm. So the link will be in the description below, guys. I gotta try Dane's with the crab legs, y'all. Mm. Look at this. Mm. <clears throat> it's good with the crab legs. I feel like I'm not gonna like it with the crab legs. I'll try it. I like it. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. That's just because it's just good. It's bomb. I already tried that shit on french fries. On nothing. Just mm. eating it. It's so good. That's some good shit, Daddy. Mm. Let me try out some corn. These sauces are so good. I almost don't even want my tacos, y'all, that I was making. So I made a, this is an avocado sauce with like jalapeno, lime, garlic, mm -hmm. um, mm -mm. cilantro, green onion, a few other items that I like to put on my seafood tacos. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to make a taco, see how it comes mm -hmm. out. Mm. Oh my God. 
Baby. Hmm? <laughs> no. <laughs> Put this on a corn and it tastes like kettle corn. Oh. I'm so serious. It. Try it. I can I can see that. Mm-mm. Okay, kettle corn, getting mm -hmm. kettle corn vibes. Mm -hmm. Who dang, 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 dang. Mm -hmm. You better stop. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I love that it's like nothing that we've ever tried. No. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that's good. It really has a candy feel to it though. Uh -huh. When you just eat the onions by itself. So good. All right, y'all. I'm making my taco. I put it in Tasha's face to try. So I have a little cabbage here. I'm gonna top that. A little lime. Mm. A little smacky as hell. Mm. A little red sauce. Oh my goodness. Come on. Uh oh. Look like dame sauce is getting low. <laughs> getting a little bit low. See, Tasha don't normally like the sauces, so I don't make a whole lot of it. But then there's always a time when she actually likes it. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Now, I've never done this before, so I'm a little nervous, but hopefully it tastes good. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. anything could have been in there with the with that salsa. What sauce did you do? Oh, that? Mm-hmm. I like this kind of better. You do? <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, yeah, kind of. It's just different. You know? Mm -hmm. And I put brown sugar in it. So, I don't know. Mm. I didn't like it at first. I gotta try it. <clears throat> it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That taco was good, y'all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish I liked creamy sauces with I mean seafood. I can't. I just can't do it, y'all. I think I should let this marinate. Yeah. yeah. That's gonna have to go. For who? <laughs> For you talking about yeah. yeah. Matter of fact, I need I need one marinade and, and prissy sauce. And one in dang sauce. That's gonna be too sweet. You leave it marinating in dang sauce. <laughs> I don't know. We gonna see. Mm. Okay. We gonna see. Mm. Ooh -wee. Ooh. Yes. Hot. Something spicy. Oh, the ramen. So if you're new to our channel, we normally eat. Discuss the food for a little while and then later we will have a discussion. So, I mean, we already 17 minutes. I think it's so. about later. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. That looks good. Mm. I want some more candy corn. Mm. Yeah. Shit. It's about this time. is bomb. This right here is, look, just cabbage. Spread it on here like this. I'm sorry, y'all. I felt like I needed something green. <laughs> Show them this, babe. This is basically Dane's candied onions. This tastes so good. So, if you ever make Dane sauce, definitely do this with it. Mm. If you like real homemade candy corn, kettle corn, it's almost like you're 
Oh, a little dessert. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so we're gonna start our discussion, you guys. Cause I see Stephanie. I was gonna let her start the discussion, but I don't feel like she's even anywhere near starting the discussion. Absolutely not. But I don't really know the first question. Okay, I'll give it to you. <clears throat> All right, so we got some, we um, pulled up some questions from some of our viewers. And this time I tried to select questions that were kind of related so we can keep it kind of on the same topic. So, what we're talking about today, general theme, is cheaters, y'all. Okay? Oh. So, the first question is from Amberne Robinson. And her question is, I'm paraphrasing because it was kind of long. So, if you found a message in my social media, where I was telling one of our one of my good friends that I was in love with one of our mutual friends. Okay. How would you handle that? Um I would walk up to you and show you the message mm -hmm. right in your face and wait for your response and end our relationship Damn. immediately. You wouldn't give no no no. If you were saying you're in love with somebody, that's you either already done dealt with them or you feel like you're in love with them. So we don't need to be together. It's a done deal. She already know I don't play. I don't even halfway play. Mm -hmm. I don't joke. Mm -hmm. Okay, you. So no, mm -hmm. I don't have time. It'd be a done deal. That second, I would leave immediately. But after I confront you about it. Okay. Okay. So another part of her question was. What if I was like, oh, I was just tripping and talking recklessly. Would you give the relationship another chance if I? No. <laughs> it would be over. Immediately. So if you ever do want to be in love with somebody else or cheat or whatever you want to call it, you better make sure I do not find out. Every you better day, make every sure day you get me in trouble. You what better make question? sure this that ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't know. I'm just saying we're talking about if. If you ever decided you wanted any of those things, just don't let me find out. You better be so slick about your shit. Right. Okay? Yeah, I agree. Okay? So if you, I think a lot yeah, of don't tell anybody. Okay? I think a lot of people do. I have a friend, you guys, that will say random stuff that I don't even believe is true. And I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's because she is feeling insecure about the person that she's with. If she's not happy, it's during certain times that she will make comments about other people that I don't even believe is true. Okay. You know what I mean? I think it's to make herself feel better because whatever situation what do you she mean? Like, I don't really make, she'll make be like, she'll start like, well, I talked to so-and-so today and you know, like we talked about how we have a connection, but she's dating somebody else though. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. why are you talking about this other person when you're dating, like really dating somebody else right now? Right. So I feel like when her and the other person go through shit, She'll veer over to other random people that Somebody she else. can talk, you know. Okay. But I, I don't even feel like it's the, the feelings that she talked about is true. Okay. So I do feel like people do can talk recklessly and not mean it. But I agree. But, but if you care about the relationship that you're in, don't do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I believe people can talk recklessly, but mm -hmm. you recklessly end the relationship. Exactly. Because that ain't going to fly with me either. I'm not about to be sitting here wondering if yeah, it was true or not, not. The whole rest of our relationship. Nope. And then what about the other friend? Are we are we just not gonna be friends with that person anymore? Because I sure wouldn't be comfortable with us like at a gathering or something. And that person's there, and you supposedly are in love with them yet. Right. It's not gonna work. That's not gonna mm -mm. work. You can't do that. Mm -mm. If you are gonna do any type of thing or have any type of feelings for somebody, don't put the shit on social media. First of all, right. And I feel, I feel like don't tell anybody if no, you are trying true. to be discreet and cheating this and that. That you should just, nobody know your business. Exactly. I feel that's why I feel like it was coming from a different place when people do that. Mm -hmm. Like, why are you talking to somebody else about y'all's mutual friend? That friend knows everybody. That's just strange. Yeah. That means you don't really care about the person you're with. You're that's disrespectful as hell. Okay. That's very disrespectful. Okay, so if it was me, it wouldn't go down either. You wouldn't just forgive me, babe? Hell no. Absolutely not. Mm. The end. Like that day, I don't have time for nobody being disrespectful towards me, and I don't have time to be feeling insecure in my relationship 
and not trusting you. Right now we have an awesome relationship. I would hate for when anytime you go out that I, I'm feeling like you might be doing something. I don't have time. No. I yeah. do not have time. I feel you. Okay, so Ashley Jensen says, now this is, we still, we're still talking about cheating, y'all, so if I actually cheated, uh -huh. would you give me a second chance? Hell no, if you didn't do, go for the, the uh, message, I'm sure you ain't going for actually cheating. You wouldn't be alive to get a second chance. Which one do you think is worse, actually cheating or the, sending the message to another friend? About, about being in love with one of y'all's friends. Um, huh. That's hard for me to say. I don't really know until it happens. I don't know because it hasn't happened to me. So I can't say what would be worse. I would have to feel that and, and be like, okay, that was worse. I don't know. I, know. I can't really answer that. I don't know either. I feel, I feel like I'd be a little more crushed about the message. Because you're saying you love life. them. Yeah, not only that, you're spreading this to a friend, mm -hmm. which is embarrassing as hell to me. And then you like our friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what kind of person are you? It would just make me feel too many different weird emotions. Now, if you just re cheated randomly with a, another person, I, I think I would be less hurt. Okay. You know, I'm going to still be mad and leave either way. Right. But I just think I would be less hurt. Okay. You always love getting food. Leave it. Because I'm not okay. going to do nothing to get more food on myself. Okay. Shit. I'm all a right. messy eater, y'all. All right. All right. Okay. So I don't think either one of us is getting a second chance on cheating. No, there's no second chances. So you guys, if we end up divorced, it's because Stephanie cheated. No. I'll never cheat, so I ain't got to. <laughs> I ain't got to cheat. <laughs> All right, what's the next one? Okay, the next one. Candace Sutton. Thank you guys all for these questions, Matt, by the way. Um, do you think that once a cheater, always a cheater? Or can a person change? I think a person can change. Absolutely. I think a lot of times, not every time, not in every instance. I think sometimes when people cheat, it's because they don't really want to be with the person that they're in a relationship with. So they just do dumb shit and cheat. Sometimes it's because, hey, I'm a little hoe-ish. And I also don't like you, so I'm going to cheat. Right. And um, sometimes you just like different women. And you may even want to be with the person that you're with, but you just like different women. And that is, I think that's probably the worst. My answer is, I do believe they can change depending on why they cheat. I think I know a lot of cheaters who haven't changed. <laughs> okay, they continue to cheat either on the same person that they're with or the new person. Like they they always cheat no matter what. So that leads me to believe that a lot of people won't change. I mean, they probably can if they wanted to, right? But they they don't want to change. Yeah, I think some people just don't want to change. And then, <laughs> I, like like I said, I used to cheat um, on my girlfriends, but I didn't like them. I didn't. I didn't want to be in a. I was unhappy with them. I'll say it like that. Not me, y'all. Yeah. Let's get that straight. So I had a couple of girlfriends that we just had a a bad relationship, really. And I just I liked women, so I was like, well, since you getting on my nerves, and I like a lot of women anyway at the time, I might as well go hang out with them. You feel me? Wow. <clears throat> okay. Right. I mean, I'm not gonna say I haven't been an angel, angel all my life either. Like. I'm the type of cheater to where I'll cheat at the end of the relationship if I feel like I've exhausted everything else and I feel kind of stuck. Mm -hmm. I'll cheat. I've cheated before in that, in that situation. But I don't think I would do that now because I'm just I'm older and more, more mature and I know that I don't want to be stuck in something and trying to be sneaking out. Yeah. I would never do that now. But in my past, I have done that, to be honest. And like I'll try for years to make things work. But once I feel like once I give up, basically, mm -hmm. if I feel stuck in that relationship, I might see, start dating somebody else. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna wait no years for nothing. <laughs> I hardly even want to wait minutes. Damn. So no. Me and Steph have talked before about what we would do, what we just would say to each other if either one of us ever wanted to cheat. We would talk to each other about it. Um, you know, I guess, and see what what happened. I don't know what, mm -hmm. but yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't even see that happening in our relationship. I don't ever think I'm going to want to cheat on you. Because I feel I have way too much respect for you. I have too much respect for our relationship and our in the intimate part of our relationship to go sit and be naked with somebody else. You know, um, but anyway, yeah. 
<laughs> in the beginning, when we dated, we had some issues surrounding other people. And I think for a while I was wondering if I'll be able to get over things. Yeah. But I, I was, and I don't think, you know, yeah, once the cheater, always a cheater. When we finally got serious, serious, or when I, I mean, we were both serious, but I had some like issues. But when we were, when we decided that we were going to be, when we decided to try again, I'll say that. That's when everything went well, and she started trusting me. But she took a long time, you guys. I was like, "Can we be together?" And she was like, "Nah, you did something you should have done." And this was what eight, nine months prior. But she wasn't playing with me. And for maybe the first year that we were together, she was. She was serious. She was on me a little bit. She was like, she wasn't on me, like calling me and texting me and doing all this crazy shit, but she was just like, I don't know. I don't know. You know, and then after a while it became, okay, I see. I see you. I see what you're doing and right. you've changed. And I did. I wasn't even a cheater when me and Stephanie first got together. It was just that we were, it wasn't, it wasn't a hundred percent clear. Right. Oh, no. So no, no. that's kind of where it was. We both were like, not giving our ourselves completely yeah. so it was like it was so vague about what we were really doing and we both would go on like lapses of calling each other and stuff like that so i mean i don't blame anybody for talking to other people yeah i remember one time stephanie came over in a nice ass dress but it was like 11 o'clock at night she had done partying and i was like oh you look nice and yeah she was like yeah she had just left somebody hanging out but you see where I went? You know? She looked good. You see where the hell I went from? Yeah, she knew where to, she she knew, she knew where to come home to. Yeah. Okay, I'm like, I gotta go, y'all. <laughs> gotta go. Yeah, that was a fun night. I think if Stephanie cheated on me, honestly, you guys, even though I'm not violent anymore, I don't even, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like I said before, I'm not perfect. I don't even know. I'm not gonna lie. And it's wrong to put your hands on somebody. It's so wrong. But uh, I'm not a man. She can take me. We might have to go toe to toe. Yeah, that might have to happen. That's because I feel I would feel so disrespected. I don't think I'll really hit her, you guys. But what I'm saying is, I would feel so disrespected because we're married and we made vows and just all that we talk about and all that we do and that we share. You gonna go behind my back and you know lay with somebody else and then come back and lay with me? I would be more upset about that than anything. Really, you gonna put your yeah? No, I don't have time mm -hmm. for that. You better talk to me beforehand. You better let me know something. We gonna fi figure it out or we gonna leave each other or we gonna do it together. But ain't no ain't no games. Wait, when you said hidden, you know that's one of my one of the flaws in myself that I don't think it's ever gonna change. If I if I ever catch somebody cheating. I always hit. Oh, you want to tell me about Mike, Mike Tyson punch out? <laughs> when, oh, I did something, you guys, this was a long time ago. I must have got slapped from here to Antarctica. Okay? Here, and this is the only time we've ever had any kind of physical stuff is when I, I did, it was wrong what I did, you guys. It was kind of wrong. Yeah. And I got popped from here to Antarctica. <laughs> and then one time Stephanie did, and it wasn't even that she did anything wrong, but it pissed me off. I think I pushed her. I ain't gonna lie. But this was years ago. I got her, like, grabbed her and, you know, laid her down. Yeah. Not body slammed her, y'all. I literally grabbed her and just put her away. But that was the strongest Sasha had ever felt like she was. You know what I'm saying? I was like, whoa. I felt like I, was. I don't know. You know, like, sometimes we'll play wrestle and stuff. Uh -huh. And I just felt like you felt like He Man at that moment. Oh. You, I felt like you did, like, lift me up into the air. I did something, but. <laughs> I, it, I was so angry. She was just trying to prove a point. But yeah, we, we don't condone, condone violence, you guys. And this was, this was and probably we don't, five we don't years ago. And all that shit. Yeah, no, Ever. we don't do that. Okay, this was in dating times. Yeah. One, I think one was in 2011 and then maybe in 2013. Mm -hmm. So, but that was it, y'all. Yeah, so anyway. Yeah. Uh, I'm, but that's, that's the bad thing. So we look, we know that we don't play. Good. That's the thing. Exactly. We already know. You mess with me, you, you might come up hurt. Who knows? I mean, hey. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It's not. It's it's just wrong, y'all. Don't ever be violent. Mm -hmm. And don't Ooh. cheat. Yeah, don't cheat. Mm. You ain't got to worry about me. I'm satisfied. I know. I'm sure. I know you ain't cheating. You confident as hell, aren't you? I know you ain't cheating. Ooh, let me cheat. I'm Cause the motherfucker be like, I know you ain't cheating, and then you cheat. Right. Your whole life is probably gonna be over. 
I know. I, there was another thing I was thinking about. Oh, how I would feel if you cheated. I think it would be worse than in the past I've been with people who have cheated on me. Mm -hmm. But I already was um, over it. thinking. No, I was already thinking that something might be going on. Oh, yeah. With me and you, I don't have any feeling like that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So it, yeah, it would be like devastating. I think like, that's what? Yeah. I think that's probably the worst. Mm -hmm. When you don't expect something from somebody and they and they show you their true colors, then you're like, wow. Like, you wow. deceived me this whole time. Exactly. How yeah. long have you been just sitting here lying? You really pulled the wool over my uh, face. Yeah. You really made me feel all this stuff like we were in such an awesome relationship and all this stuff. And then not only that, like when I think about us, I think about what we have now, but also our future, the stuff that we working on, and it'll just be crushed. Like everything yeah. gone, really? Yeah. Yeah, no. That's probably a, a hard thing too. Like we have plans for our future and vacations and just grandchildren, yeah, maybe at stuff. some point, and just <laughs> life and our, our families, business. our yeah, our business, our families. Are I love her family. Yes. Um, it's oh my just, god. Yeah, I think they would be devastated. Everybody. They would. They'd be like, give her another chance, please. Right. Y'all only give it. They can't be bad though. Nah, they love you a lot. Though. I think they would be like. That, they, I think they'll be just fine if I gave you another chance. They wouldn't be bad. <laughs> they like, like, yay! Right. <laughs> that ain't right, but. Okay. Anyway, guys, we're about to end this because we can go on and on and on forever. We can. Okay. We can. <laughs> we wish some of y'all were sitting here too, though. Right. That would be fun. Because we can just continue. But we'll do that one day, hopefully. Um, don't forget, if you want these noodles, we okay. have the link in the description below. And it's not the two times spicy, it's the regular spicy. Mm -hmm. Um, and is there anything else you want to say before we sign? That's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let us know what you guys think. Make sure you have your post notifications set to all because we put out daily videos sometimes twice a day so you don't want to miss anything. Yeah. Right. And join us on our live streams when we do those. And until next time, only good vibes. Peace.